How to collect and process samples for the NutriVal plasma test. Please collect all of the tubes in one session and label each tube with the patient's date of birth. Please note that all blood processing steps must be completed within 45 minutes after the blood collection. Before venipuncture, thoroughly wash the skin area with isopropyl alcohol using two successive swabs of clean, sterile cotton. Do not use iodine or mercury-based disinfectants or antiseptics. Extra cleaning of the skin is important for accurate trace element analysis. Do not use aluminum or other metal crimp rings for drawing blood for the NutriVal test. Draw blood into the blue top sodium EDTA tube and gently invert 10 to 15 times. Draw blood into the blue top sodium heparin tube and gently invert 10 to 15 times. Also draw blood into the red tiger top SST. Complete remainder of the blood draw by collecting blood into the small lavender EDTA tube and gently invert five times. Then centrifuge the blue top sodium heparin tube for 15 minutes at 3000 RPMs. Place the red tiger top SST tube in a tube rack allowing it to clot for 15 minutes. Refrigerate the blue top sodium EDTA tube and the small lavender EDTA tube. Once the sodium heparin tube have finished spinning in the centrifuge, the blood should be separated into three parts, plasma, buffy coat, and red blood cells. Begin processing the blue top sodium heparin tube by pipetting and transferring all two milliliters of plasma into the blue top preservative tube. Immediately and vigorously shake the blue top preservative tube for at least 10 to 20 seconds until the sample turns chunky and white. Centrifuge the blue top preservative tube for 5 minutes at 2500 RPMs, or 8 to 10 minutes if you are using a tabletop centrifuge. The centrifuge sample should appear separated with a thin white layer and a clear supernatant. Transfer the clear supernatant from the blue top preservative tube into the yellow top tube, filling to the line shown on the tube, which is about 0.5 to 0.75 milliliter. Avoid touching or transferring the white layer or precipitate. Place yellow top tube in the freezer and discard the blue top preservative tube. Centrifuge the red tiger top SST for 15 minutes at 3000 RPMs. Once the red top SST tube is finished centrifuging, use a fresh pipette to transfer all of the serum into the amber transfer tube. Discard red tiger top tube. Freeze the amber transfer tube completely prior to shipping. This concludes the blood processing portion of the test. Now let's review the return checklist. Freeze the freezer brick for at least 8 hours prior to shipping specimens back to the lab. When returning specimens to the lab, be sure to include the blood specimens and two urine specimens. Make sure the tubes are tightly closed and identified with completed labels. Now that you've got all the specimens ready, place the freezer brick inside the polyfoam box that came with the NutriVal. Place the biohazard bag and vial sleeve containing blood samples on top of the freezer brick. Make sure that the completed and signed requisition is between the foam box and the test box. Place the box in the provided FedEx envelope and seal it. Make sure the FedEx shipping label is completely filled out. For more details on preparing for this test, please visit our website at www.gdx.net slash tests slash prep. Thank you for choosing Genova Diagnostics.